Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Head shave time, done my face shave earlier on the day. Gonna do a head shave now just before the Manchester United game gets underway. I've got Paul Pogba with me, which is probably backwards, I'm not 100% sure, but most likely is backwards. And I am using, well actually no, it won't be backwards because this comes up the right way when you look at it, I think. I've just put on some Parasol pre-shave. This stuff smells superb. Menthol and eucalyptus, absolutely brilliant. It, it's <coughs> It looks firm, but as soon as you put your finger in it, it sort of melts into your finger like a butter. It's really nice. And I can feel it cooling already on my head, so I've just popped that on before the video while I was getting ready. <coughs> and that leads to the soap, which you've seen in the description and the picture, Parasso Green, which is my most used Parasso. You can see the sort of dent in it, but still, there's not much really. There's not a great dent in it. And I'm going to be using the Turn and Shave from Milton over in the States. Absolutely love this brush. Absolutely phenomenal. It's got 25mm angel hair knot e courses and it is the softest knot I've used. The closest thing I've come would probably be the kabuki knot that I sent to Spencer, which is I would say the borderline similar in terms of softness, that's how soft this knot is. It just could be doing with a bit more density. You can literally squeeze the fibres right, it needs a lot more fibres in there, but excellent knot. Let's see how it goes with the old Parasol, which is shaking all over the place because I've not used it for so long. So, straight in here. I might have to revisit the soap. I don't know, I might not. I might get lucky. <coughs> Let's just see how we go. So, Saturday over here, the weather is pretty shit again. I don't know why I'm using a menthol soap. I think I was talking to Oivy and he's been using Parasol, and I think Spencer used it recently as well. And it is good stuff. That is the first soap I ever used in my traditional wet shaving, that is. The only thing I will say with this brush with a loft with a little tub, it's not the best brush for getting in there to try and load your brush up. I feel like I'm missing more than, than I'm getting. I've probably dipped that too much. I think I did. Yeah, that's the thing. It's only Parasso in it. I am intrigued to try the, the new Parasso range, the, I think they're called the Single Edge range or whatever it's called. Different scents, different style of soap or cream. There you go, the brush is well loaded I think. I'm just going to wet my head again. Do you know something, I can feel the difference in my hair, feel how soft it is now that pre shave has been on there for a little bit. So that's the note, paint some of this on first. It's been a while since I've used this one for a head shave, that's for sure. This brush that is. It's been a while since I've used the cream as well, the soap as well, if I'm honest. Right, let's start adding some water to this. Get it built up. And if you think I'm pushing too hard with the brush, I probably am. <laughs> I just like smashing it all over the place. Not so much with my natural hair brushes, but with, certainly with my synths. I'm not too worried about them. If they get damaged, I'll just get the knot replaced for what the cost. They should last me quite a while anyway. I've not damaged any knots yet of any fibre. I just keep getting ones that shed, which is a whole different story. Licking lather everywhere. So as you can see, it makes an amazing lather this brush. And it's very, very soft. You don't even you don't even really feel it. There's no scrub or anything with it. There is a little bit, but nothing that's really noticeable. That is one of the best lathers I've had on my head. You guys probably can't even see it. Let me see if I can auto-focus there. There you go, you can see the gloss now. It's one of the best ladders I've put on my head for a long time. And there we go. So, back to the Wunderbar. Favourite head shaving razor. 
I've got the Gillette Ruby still in here, no idea how many uses is on it, but I'm just going to keep using it because it's still lovely and smooth, or was last time I used it at least. I've got about five days growth I think, so you can see, that's the thing came off that you can see. Oh, I'll just see if I can get that off folks again. Here you can see how thick that lather is on the top of my head. It is harder to get a thick lather on your head, definitely. I'm going to go out there and just say it. I've used a lot of really, really good blades. Blades that I really enjoy using. These Gillette Rubies. Probably my favourite blade now at the moment. The funny thing with blades is, even though they're subjective, everyone gets a different experience with a blade. I get the same thing as well. I can use the same blade from the same, a different blade from the same pack and get a totally different experience. A cream. I mean, Paraso is essentially a cream. It's, it is a soap, but it's a really soft soap. <laughs> it's a crope, I suppose. Not used that word for a while, but it is essentially a crope. It's not really a soap, and it's not really a, a cream. It's sort of in the middle. I just find with this razor, I, I find the angle with it very, very easily. I don't find that I'm searching for the angles. Oh, actually, I was quite surprised how many, how many of you guys out there that follow the channel actually shave your heads. But then again, I quite enjoy watching head shavers because I shave my head. Now there's still going to be a fair bit of hair left on my head after this part. There always is, this is with the green. So I never get a close shave. But I tell you what, it was comfortable. It was really comfortable. And it's not that bad, there's not much there. There is loads there. But in terms of what was there to begin with, what I mean. Wet my hands. And this is where, for me, your parasols and things like that don't generally compete with good artisan soaps. They don't have the slickness, they don't have that residual slickness for me personally with my water and my setup. Put a menthol now, you really feel the menthol on that second ladder. Right, razor up, wunderbar. 
against the grain with the Gillette Ruby. What a the money pass, as the stallion calls it. Mm, let's just dip my fingers and just see if there is any residual sleepiness there. There is a little bit. Nothing like some of the great soaps that I use, but it's there. It's 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 safe. I know that's the lucky last words, famous last words. But it feels like there's enough on you to survive. The old Wunderbar is doing a stand up job. I've been really, really impressed with Razor Rocks Razors. I've only got two, both of them came by Wea Boy B. I purchased the Wunderbar and then he poofed me the, the MG90 which I used my previous shave. So it's, I just find they've got really, for the price, they've got very tight tolerances, even on the cheaper razors. I mean this isn't a super expensive razor for what you get, but even like, I haven't tried the Mamba, but I, I am looking at it, it's a lovely mild looking shaver for me and everyone says it's very mild, so certainly one for an everyday shaver for the sounds of things. And I don't mind mild razors now, I never used to like them. But I think as your technique grows, so does your ability to use mild razors because they're not a razor that you can... You've got to always remember it's a light touch. And my main issue with mild razors when I first started using them was tendency to put too much pressure to actually try and force the hair off rather than just letting the razor do its job. So I treat pretty much every razor now like the Wunderbar. Just lie it on your skin and just pull it along. There's no pressure, no, not forcing it on my skin. You've just got to make sure it keeps contact, keeps that constant angle. Right, so that's the second pasta and I'm not going to keep going because the slickness isn't as good as most soaps. So I'm just going to wet my hair again and I can feel that there's not much left. There's a little bit on the back here, a few little bits on the side. Little, there's always loads on my crown. And then we'll just apply another lather with what's left in the brush. I'm just going to get the tips. See, it's not a thick voluminous lather now, well, you probably can't see because of the bright light of my head. But it's more like a. There you go. <laughs> you can see it's a lot thinner now, but I'm not worried about that. I just want a little bit of slickness just to finish off, and then I'll probably put a little bit more on my crown when I'm doing my crown. So I'm just going to do it all over again. Because you always miss a here, 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 and there.
Pretty much BBS all over the back now. Yes, yes. Not much left to tune away my head again. I can feel the slickness has built up a little bit, but it's still not great. I mean, it's yeah, I wouldn't risk a pass with the blade on it, I'll put it that way. I'm just going to add just whatever's left in the brush, which is normal, just to give me just a little bit of glide. And this is why really good residual slickness soaps. I don't have to really do this messing about at the end with the soap as much. I still have to do it most occasions but not as much. Get a little bit scary back there now because there's no slickness. Let's pull some of that soap over see if I can get a bit more slickness on there. I mean, I have to say, I'm getting very close. I am pretty much BBS all over, but it's still not as close as I get with the head blade. I could get as close as a head blade, but I would literally spend another half an hour on camera. Right, done and dusted.
I really do get that. <laughs> when you get BBS, I would love to feel what that feels like on your face. I really would. I think it'd be an amazing feeling because it, it's just incredible when it's on your head. Right, give me a sec. Right, I'm going to finish off now with the Parasol Splash. The Splash doesn't have any great longevity, it stings a little bit, but not much. It's got beautiful menthol though. It's got a, I'm trying to think the scent that I get from it. Now I also find with this Parasol, I don't know what's in it, but it almost sort of turns into a little, little Little black balls. It's like it's almost like dead skin. I think that's there we go, beautiful. Right, we'll just rinse this brush out while that's sort of doing its business. So this part of the shave is really probably the most important part, cleaning out your brush, cleaning your razor. I can probably do a video on it, my sort of full post shave routine. This is a, bit, a little bit off camera that it doesn't actually get the same. Beautiful. the soap off. off with some Bluebeard's Revenge cooling moisturizer just to keep with the cooling th cooling theme I suppose. Don't need to leak the loads of it, it's like a dollop. Yeah, that's as BBS as you can get really it's without using the head blade I could never get that close with anything else really. Super I love this scent, a blue year's revenge. It's a real barber shoppy sort of scent, it's just brilliant. The shaving cream and the moisture post shave smells like that. I haven't used the aftershave splash, but I've heard it doesn't smell anything like that, so that sort of puts me off buying. So we started off today with Parasso Green pre-shave, which comes in a little glass jar. Kevy Shaves uses it for soaking his brushes. I'm miles away from being able to use mine because it's pretty much still full. And I have used it a fair bit. The soap for today was Parasso Green, which performs really well. I mean, you've seen the lather, it's a great lathering soap, you don't have any issues lathering for sure. The brush was the Turn and Shave from Milton over in the States. Beautiful, beautiful cast brush. It's got a good long hand, it's got a lovely ergonomics, and it's got a lovely angel hair knot, which you can see there, which is still pretty dense, but so soft, super soft. It smells great now as well. Um, on to Parasso Green straight after the shave, the aftershave splash, which is eucalyptus menthol, and finished off with Bluebeard's Revenge Cooling Moisturiser, which is really, really good moisturising cream in my opinion. It really does leave your skin feeling great. And I've noticed on my head shaves it gives a good shine as well. I don't know if you can see that, but that's some shiny shit. Anyway, that's me done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that. Very long video again, but then again, I'm not here to entertain the masses with short videos. I'm here to just do my thing and enjoy it, and that's what I'm doing. So, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Cheers.